Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel here, this is McKellar here, and for today, now, this is going to be something new, I've never really done this before, this is, as you can see on your screen here, Star Trek Online. So I'm going to quickly go to Engage. And yes, that's me right there. I'm in command of that starship that's a Miranda class starship, the USS Savior. So, I'm, I, now I have been playing Star Trek online. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and engage with this. There we go. As soon as this loads up, one moment here. Oh, jeez, come on. Alright, there we go. So, anywho, now, when it comes to the Star Trek Online game, I have been playing this whole Star Trek Online for like a number of years now. Now, the only difference is with this is that with Star Trek Online, like, I've been playing this ever since, like, um, uh, jeez, I think it was in 2013 or 14 or something like that. It's It's been a long, long while since I played this kind of game. And now, the only reason, now, what makes this different, and chances are you may have seen something, like a game like this on, on, on you know, YouTube plenty of times as well before. I have been playing this kind of game of Star Trek Online only on the PC version of this game. Only the PC. So this is my first time playing... This is my first time playing the whole Star Trek Online on a PS4 version. And I'm looking around thinking, wow, I have... Like, as soon as I began playing Star Trek online for the PS4. No, it's like, okay, I'm gonna try and see what the whole difference is like and whatever. I have to admit, it is... it's quite different. Again, I've always been, you know, like, you know, always playing the game on the, P on the PC version for a number of years, and now I'm trying out the whole um, PS4. Like I said, some, some of the systems, like, some of the features and some of the settings on here are much, much different. So right now I'm just making I'm just making a video of this and just winging this out. See how this goes. Now I just finished doing a couple of missions. Haha, <laughs> how about that? An actual Captain Picard look-alike. Nice. So besides that, I I just began playing this game and I'm just winging it, seeing how it is. And well, I've, I've already had you know I already had took a command of a Miranda class starship. <laughs> Like I said, it is, it is a little different than what I had expected, especially from the whole PC version of the game anyways. And like I said, I've been playing this kind of game for quite a amount of time, and um, I this is my first time right now playing this game in a, P, in a PS4 version. Never done this before. The setting is quite different. I can tell you that much. So yes, folks, that is my uh, my whole interest, especially when I play any kind of form of gaming, is Star Wars, Star Trek, and 007. I can't really say I think I think very highly of Daniel Craig, but that's just my that's my little opinion on that. I've always had thought you know Pierce Brosnan was by far one of the one of the better Bonds. Of course, you can't really you can't re you can't really beat Sean Connery. Plain and simple, you just can't. The guy just brought the whole character of James Bond to life, re regardless if the actor is Scottish and the character is English or British. But I'm sure you get my point on that one. Roger, Sir Roger Moore, or the late Roger Moore, I should say. Well, he, unfortunately, he passed away a couple years ago. So, like, I was, I was like, I grew up watching him. Pierce Brosnan. I thought the guy just did a freaking bang up job of playing that character very nicely. Daniel Craig. It's like, uh. Well, to avoid any kind of criticism or someone kind of 
you know, saying, you dumbass mother whatever about Daniel Craig, I'm just going to say pass. Just to be rather neutral about that. So, anywho, what I'm going to do here is I already have my crew, my ship already. So, what I'm going to be doing is going to over here to get the, to this Taylor guy. Like I said, this is completely new and it's obviously different from the PC version as opposed to the PS4 version. So what I'm going to do here, and I'm just, like, to me, playing this is like common sense. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing with the characters and whatever. Like I said, the setting is different. Much, much different. Okay, so, um, do, 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 modify. What? No, I don't want that. Huh. Ah, uh, like I said before, this is much, much freaking different. Never would have expected this. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see here what I can do. Oh, there we go. I can I can zoom in on him. So I thought about going with this kind of uniform because, well, you know, I've always kind of liked that that type of uniform with the whole uh, next generation in the film version of things. I've always kind of liked it. Like, what the hell, right? So give the, this character the proper rank. Yeah, let's see here. I'll make him a full bar left. Make him a full bar lieutenant. Yes, everyone. That's exactly what I said. Lieutenant, not lieutenant. Yes, I know. Like, I, like, like I mentioned before in the previous video when I was playing uh, Call of Duty uh, World War II. That's how Canadians pronounce that rank, lieutenant, as opposed to the U.S. version, lieutenant. And there's a French version, which is Lieutenant, but, you know, that's, that's that's just a bit of a fun fact slash beside the point kind of dealio. So, I'll give this character his Lieutenant Pips. Um, huh, okay. Well, I'd like to have, have a bit of a uh, brighter type of uh, look on, on, the, on his Pips. There we go. <laughs> like I said, to me, this is much, much different than what I had expected. Cause, like, well, I've never <laughs> well, the whole setting, the whole setting, the whole settings of um, the whole layout when it comes to customizing or tailoring uh, your own uniform, your own starship, and all the other jazz type of dealio. I've, you know. It's, I understand like the whole settings of it and the whole common sense of things are still there. It, obviously just the whole features of it has just been remodified and so on for me anyways. Now for these characters here. Oh shit. Um. I'll figure it, like, you know, might as well get them all having a bit of a look-like type of deal, right? Okay, let's have, uh... And I actually have some of these type of uniforms as well on the online version of things. Yep, that's a good way to promote sexual lust. Okay, so... Okay, well... <laughs> There we go. <laughs> now. Oh. Command insignia. It's like, what the hell was that now that I wanted to use? Not that one. <laughs> I could go with that, but figured, yeah, some other time. Uh, 
where was that? Oh, here it is. There we go. Now that's the comm badge. And there we go. Make that comm badge a little brighter. Okay, well, I suppose I will leave that part for now. And... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, like I said before, this is kind of rather like a new, like uh, like the whole settings of it is just completely new. I've never seen anything like this before. And I guess I'll have to do. See, the loading time is rather a little different. Okay, I'll try get I'll try get past this as quickly as I can. Jeez. Um. Da, 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 da. Nope. What is okay? All right. Oh, here it is. Like I said, it's a little different for me anyways. Vulcans. She sort of kind of reminds me of like... Oh shit. So that means I'll have to change... Change her color because she's supposed to be a science officer. All right. Um. Like I said, the settings are quite freaking different, especially from like originally from the um, from the PC version of things. Uh... Okay, so now what I want to do is change her color.
I guess we'll go with F15 for now for the whole color change. So like, well, I know it's blue, but I don't know the whole distinction of it. So I figure, uh, you'll have to do. And she's an engineering officer, so she cannot re she cannot wear red. And for and for those who. Uh, and for those of like, uh, for some people who are not familiar in such aspects of uh, of Star Trek, the reason why I'm changing the color is because in this particular time era, with uh, you know, with like, for example, the Next Generation, there's a whole there's a whole separate uh, distinction differences with the, with these type of colors, like such as red is supposed is signifies command. Um, uh, helm, uh, helm, as in piloting. Uh, what else here? Red also can can uh, symbolize uh, strategical operations, which is something that a uh, good example. Michael Dorn's character Worf once once wore on uh, Deep Space Nine. And okay, so now what I'll do here is. I guess I would look about right. Well, I'll probably end up looking it up later anyways for the hell of things. Alright. My first thought was shit, I forgot about that. And... Now, he is one of the... Like, one of the bridge or tactical officer, whatever, so... He's gonna remain that way. Nope. There we go. So I don't have to. I don't have to change his color at all, because like I said before, that he is in the right department, so that is the right color for him. And uh, with blue, uh, blue oh, it signifies like such as like um, medical or science. And with green, or not green, sorry, uh, that am I talking about. Me well, like I said, like blue is like medical and science. Uh, yellow, I think, um, it would be would signify like operations and engineering. That would be it. So I'm gonna go over here. Um. There we go. Like I said, much freaking different than what I had expected. Okay, so there I am. Well, what I suppose I could do <coughs> is just I suppose this doesn't really technically make a whole lot of difference, but I figure what why not? Just to just to like, you know, keep the whole consistency going type of deal. Oh, I probably messed that up, but whatever, I'll, I can always fix it again, it's not a big deal. Okay, now I am off to see that Admiral. Oh man, it looks quite fairly different than what I'm used to playing on PC. Talk to Admiral Quinn. Yep, that'd be him. That'd be him right there. Greetings, Lieutenant. 
We have a lot to discuss, Cadet. Yes, I see that here, in the report transmitted by Captain Volar. He granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Mask Taggart, correct? Acting First Officer? I've read the reports. Facing off against Klingon raiders and a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy? Very unusual. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. <laughs> That's quite the story. Don't worry. I have statements here from Captains Volok, Yim, and Willa Post from Vega Colony collaborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way to preserve the lives of others. I'm a Starfleet officer, sir. It's in the job description. And you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the ship. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. <laughs> And, uh, no, but I'm sorry. You will be assigned to the Klingon front. But first, you could use some new equipment for your ship. I have some improved consoles developed by the Starfleet Corps of Engineers. These consoles can be installed on your ship to improve its abilities. As you improve in rank, you will earn better consoles. Other ships you will command throughout your career will have space for many more. When you're done here, Go see Durr's racks to customize your starship's appearance. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Yes, folks, that was Admiral uh, Dural Quinn. Well, like I said, much different from the PC version. I've received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth space dock. It may need assistance. Please talk to Malcolm Sissel in the shipyard. He will have more information about the missing vessel than I do. Stranded in space. All right then. Cool. Nice. That character looks rather similar to, well, almost similar to, like, uh, Captain Riker. <laughs> and that's the guy, and Captain Riker himself, or William T. Riker, commands, after the film Star Trek ne Nemesis, he commands uh, the USS Titan. Ah, uh, like a bastard. Okay, so... So I'm already on another, another mission and been granted the rank of lieutenant. Yes, I know in the U.S. version of things it's really lieutenant. But I'm sure all of you get, get the gist of things. Security team, report to docking bay six. Hello, baby girl. Okay, so... Yep, everything pretty much seems to be rather consistent. Well, I'm not going to get a new ship or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I'm not qualified, especially on the PS4 version of things. But, wow, this is different. Good God. That's just nuts.
Well, on the PEC version, I do have this vessel right here. Uh, let's see here. On the PC, I also have this ship, that ship. I'm also was trying out the whole science division as well, so currently have this one right here. Cool effect. I definitely have this ship on the P on the, on the PC version of things, and this ship on a separate type one. Oh, sorry, it was actually this one. Uh, what else here? This ship for sure. I thought about maybe getting a ship like this, but wasn't too sure. Uh, that was the Defiant class. I definitely have, um, like, you know, the Prometheus class. Oh my god, I cannot tell you how very helpful and convenient that ship is. So bloody convenient, so bloody helpful. Considering the fact that this ship right here looks rather a little different, but whatever. I don't know if there is like I don't know if there's like a freaking multi vector like a ship that looks very much like that or whatever. Uh first thought was where the hell is it? Oh, I think yeah. What? All officers are reminded that the waterfalls are not a recreation. Ah uh, yeah, yeah, you serious? Haha, <laughs> the Titan! Riker commands that ship. There. Oh! Okay. Whoops. I just got invited to... I suppose... Okay, I'll have to leave that alone because, like, I'm making a commentary. I don't want, don't want that getting interrupted. But like I mentioned before, with the whole uh, Prometheus class, which is like a multi-vector assault mode, that looks really ridiculous. But okay, whatever. Well, I'm sure all of you kind of get the meaning of what I'm implying. It's like a multi-vector, it's like uh, the whole Prometheus, the whole Prometheus class starship, it's a multi-vector assault mode, and oh my god, is that, is that ship so freaking beyond incredibly highly convenient. I don't know why they keep doing that, that's ridiculous. But the Prometheus class is, has a multi-vector assault mode, I've got, I have completed most of my missions with a ship like that, and... You know, that starship can split into three sections that you can go into, into attack mode and take down a target like in matters of like minutes. And oh my god, is that, is that, is that starship ever so freaking convenient? Especially like I've used it plenty of times uh, like, uh, up against like um, uh, Rom uh, Romulan starships. Especially when they put you in the tractor beam and shoot a whole bunch of plasma type of, uh, pl uh, you know, basically plasma at you and then you know they destroy your ships like damn I hate that she's like I almost look like a Chewbacca okay um, well I oh yeah that's right too I wanted to uh, See if there's anything with my inventory I could probably get rid of. I should put this damn thing away. Running around with a freaking rifle, it's like, what the hell's with me? Oh, whatever, I need, I need a merchant anyway, so might as well go ahead and chat with that guy. <laughs> uh, okay, sell. Gonna need room anyways. So I'll just get rid of this guy. Oh 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Oops. Um, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, shit, what was I gonna do here? That was it. There's my starship, the savior. Oh, damn it. Okay, that starsh that uh the weapons will do just nicely. Now let's see if I have yes, excellent. <laughs> Well, like I said before, it's kind of similar to the whole uh, PC version of things, but the, I, I can understand like the configuration is much different. But you can still be able to, obviously, you know, equip you know, equip your ship with better type of uh, better type of like equipment, and I probably should be able to have it made kind of dealio. Well, uh, I don't think I need that, so I can probably just get rid of it. And get some cash value of some kind. That I'm definitely gonna need. These are so helpful, I tell you. These types of pa the kind of like packs of energy, uh, like packs of weapons or packs of shields, absolutely freaking so, like you know, so convenient. Oh, I do not have an away team. Well, I guess I'll well pick one. Of them. Oh, might as well. Uh, okay, well, I got that. <laughs> uh, like I said, this is much different from the from the PC version of things that I'm that I'm used to. What is you have obtained a resource from our current event. Events have unique projects that offer special limited time rewards for completing them. And since I'm just beginning this game, clearly I have none of these. So that's going to have to wait for another time or whatever. Well, now I pretty much got all my officers, anyways. So what do I need? I'd like to join her, but it's like, meh, that would get in the way of, uh, I'm concerned that might get in the way of the commentary. Uh, okay, well. I guess I'll we'll just go ahead and get going here. Now. Yep, like I said, much freaking different. Talk to this guy, or what do I do here? Uh, welcome to Earth Space Hawk. How can I assist you? Well, I just want to get back to my ship, really. Okay, so I'm gonna try and see if I can wing the whole part of getting back to my ship. I don't want to beam to the academy. Oh great, I feel like I'm freaking stuck or something. Oh my god! 
Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, cool. The Admiral has his own little freaking Starship collection. And to think, even when I was when I, when I was in, like in my late teens, early twenties, I used to I used to own like most of uh, like most of these Starship models. Hey, I thought I thought they were pretty cool. I thought why not start a little hobby? Oh, okay. Whoops, wrong button. Ah, eh, fuck it, whatever. Um. <laughs> oh, good God. How the Aha! Silly me. Here we go. Return to ship. Thought there was something. Okay, now here we go. So evidently the whole configuration between PC and PS4 is obviously much, much, much different. Hold and bring up your com command cabinet. Sector is based. Ah, okay. I think I, I think on the PC version of the game, I think I have one of those Romulan type of ships. I think so, anyways. And yes, I have uh, I have played a Romulan. I have played like a Romulan officer before. Well, I just gave it a shot, see how it is. And it's actually, yeah, it's not too bad. I think I'm more along with like the Romulan Republic or whatever it's called, as opposed to being part of the Tel Shiar. It's too bad I can't really, like, you know, get close enough to this Miranda class. Damn it, the hell, the guy just pulled a bit of, like, a, like a DeLorean and just went right through me. Sorry, guys, keep in mind, I'm just kind of figuring this shit out here. Just trying to, like, I want to be able to, you know, go in for, like, a closer zoom in type of. Uh, there we go. Okay, that'll have to do. Okay, now, chat, no, cycle camera distance, depart, transport, okay, this, this is Starship Bridge. Oh, okay. So like I said, it's, it seems like it, it is rather a little different. And like, like, hugely different from, like, um, like from the, P, like from the PC version. And I've been playing Star Trek on the PC version for for quite some time. Visit Starship Bridge. Yeah, I guess it could. Jeez, with my with my rifle on my back on the bridge, I I feel like I'm a little kind of intimidating. Okay, I'll switch it up for now. Yeah, I know. I well, hey, how about that? A little. Phasers on on my hip. So yes, this is the Miranda class starship. They obviously have done a serious amount of uh, mod modifications slash renovations on this starship. That is really funny. I'm holding position nearby nearby the. Sp that's the space dock or the space station, and it looks like we're at high warp or something, and I'm not even moving. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool effect, but it's like, I'm not even going anywhere. I don't even know why they have that. But all the same, it's kind of cool. Science officer. See, she looks pretty good in that uniform, and they all do. And yes, that is the symbol of the United Federation of Planets. So on the whole PS4, I can still sit in my captain's chair, as opposed to like um, on the PC. Apparently, I can't. Or well, I don't know if I'm just not trying hard enough, or whatever. But apparently, I, I just can't. Okay, so 
Like I said, I was just kind of looking around, seeing how it is. I wonder if this is my... Okay, no, that's the turbo lift. Pretty sure my ready room's over here. I'm just looking around, seeing what we got, what I have here. Not bad of a ready room. Huh. Not bad. Contact duty officer, which, sir, which, blah, blah, blah. Next library files. Okay, whatever. I'm not really concerned about that right now. Set up trophies. Shelf one. Ships. Randa. Uh, and there's my starship. Damn it. Uh, there we go. And... Ships. Okay, so I only have one, which is the Miranda class. Okay, well, whatever. All that support where we can access the library. Computer core data file. Oh, not bad. Let's see where I can go here. Uh, apparently I can't go anywhere. It's like, what? How the hell with this? I know that on the PC you can go, like, onto lower decks, like, in engineering or other types of lower decks as well. I don't know if that's rather, I don't know if some of these key features are rather different from one and the other or anything like that, but that's what I've noticed, like, what the hell is all this? Okay, so... Um... Oh, leave ship interior, there we go. Damn, that's much freaking different. I've never seen it like that before. So, like I said before, clearly that's all these other features are much different than what you see on your screen here as opposed to, like, in the PC version. And I thought about doing the whole, like, making some kind of commentary on a PC version for quite some time until I, my first thought was, like, you know, trying to look for options when we do that thing, where the hell is it, and all that other type of fun little stuff. So, okay, and... Warp to sector. Let's do it. This is Savior. This is Earth Space Dock. You are clear to warp to sector space. Thank you, Lieutenant. Engage. Yeah, I know that was a little nerdy of me to say that, but eh, whatever, I don't care. So My that... friends sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. I bear the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew. A thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders and the billions of innocents who call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. And thank you, Mr. Spock slash the late Leonard Nimoy. So, folks, that is pretty much the, at the end of this whole video here. I thought I would just make a little commentary as to just kind of showing off some features. I'm pretty sure some of you Star Trek fans have already know some of these features and have played this game on the PS4 version before. Like this, Again, this was my first time today of playing it on the PS4, so it's like I didn't know what the hell to expect. And just kind of looking around, when I had played it, uh, when I had, when I began playing like the game for the first time on the PS on the PS4 here, yeah, there was some things that still remained the same. The whole consistency of things, uh, stemming from the PC version of it, like you know, um, my character, you know, he's just about graduating from the academy. Uh, he's about to become acting first officer for the Captain Taggart guy and. Uh, 
Captain Tiger gets killed by those Klingons. He gets prom he gets the ship and gets command. You know that that Miranda class starship and all put that that dealio. And then I just kind of kept on going. I thought you know I'll make a small little commentary video about this for the hell of things. And you know like wanted to be able to just like you know show the whole features of the whole display things areas and uh, go to the space dock, just check shit out whatever. So that's about it. Like I said before, it's a, it is you know, the whole configuration of things are much different than from than from the PC version. I've been playing the whole Star Trek Online from the PC version for a number of years. Now it's give now it's trying to adapt and uh, get the whole feel going with the whole PS4 thing. Wow, this is different. I've never seen this before. Anyways, uh, if you guys want to leave a comment about this. You know, go ahead. I'm all good with it. And please, by all means, please thank you very much. Go ahead, subscribe. Uh, give this nice, give this video a nice little like. And uh, if you want to chat about this kind of topic or whichever relations to this or so on, go ahead, knock yourself out. So again, guys, this is McKellar here. Peace out. Say gold. Thanks.